Tonight, an unusual therapy is winning over parents and kids who are struggling in school. New research shows as many as one in five students has a reading disability. But where they used to struggle, some are now finding success. Paul Abbott shows us how. Left, right. They look like they're just playing games, but Jacob Snuyink right. of Natick and Kimberly Temlack of Northborough are actually well. working to improve their reading skills. How many red beads are there? Jacob's mom, who's also his teacher, noticed her son was struggling last spring. He couldn't keep up with the other student. My heart just hurt for him to see him so frustrated. I would take tests, I would know the material, and I'd get questions wrong, and my psych teacher actually said, that something might be wrong with your eyes. 20 catches, that's it, follow it with your eyes. Kimberly and Jacob were both referred to Dr. John Abundanza of Southborough, who specializes in vision therapy. Just like physical therapy and speech therapy, there's vision therapy, which is therapy for the eyes. The theory is, even though many children have 20-20 vision, they have a hard time tracking words on a page while they're reading. When you get to the end of the line, you have to find your way to the beginning of the next line. So losing place and skipping over words and skipping over lines is very common among kids that have vision and learning problems. Kimberly and Jacob went through a 20-week course of exercises to help their eyes work together more efficiently. They began to look... Both were given these special lenses that change the focus of the print to help train their eyes to see the words more clearly. Other exercises like tracking the movement of this wheel and following colored beads along a string are all part of the therapy. Uh, by week six to eight, I expect patients to notice uh, it's easier for them to get their work done. It's definitely changed my life. I actually cried at the end of the book. I've never had an emotional reaction to a book in a long time. But some leading eye experts question the science behind this treatment. Vision therapy in, in the vast majority of children really do not play a role in helping a child read. Dr. Melanie Kaslis, a mass eyeneer ophthalmologist, recommends traditional interventions like working with a reading specialist. There is no harm uh, to, to such treatments and yet we don't want the child to have a delay in having a more effective treatment regimen. Scientists, that's fine, they have their own data, but I have a personal experience and I've seen the changes and the way that this has affected my son and that makes all the difference in the world to me. And to Jacob. I love reading now. Music to the ear of any parent. Paula Eben, WBZ News. Vision therapy is not covered by most insurance and it can cost $3,000 for the full 20-week program. We've posted more information online, cbsboston.com. Click on Watch and Listen.